as I can get this. All right, we are recording right now. All right, so I'm going to do the intro. Hey, everybody. Welcome to um, the Ashcan Podcast, where we talk about geek-related things, uh, wrestling, uh, comic books, co- you know, just geekery. Uh, I'm Jason. Hey, everybody. I'm Phil, returning back. And then the gentleman that you see before you, that's James. He's our newer guy. Um, say hello, James. Hello. All right. So this episode, Philip, we're going to do a review on, uh, hopefully you all can see this, um, the three Jokers. Uh, I really enjoyed this book. Yeah, it's um, really good. Yeah. Um, so... Uh, I bought it uh, off of Amazon. I'm not being paid for. We're not being paid or reciprocated in any way to review the book. I just thought it was really well done. Um, if, Phil, do you got it? Yep, I I, I picked it... up the the three individual uh, books, right. with the okay. green covers. Okay, and uh, it was released under the DC Black label, if I'm correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the premise of the story um, has. The idea, I don't know where the, you ought to fill that in. Fill, I'm not sure where the where it, where it happened in canon, but instead of the one Joker that everybody has assumed that it has been, there's actually three. Yeah, right. uh, no one really kind of realized, you know, if, if there were different ones because they all, you know, still had the, the same green hair, uh, white face paint, everything like that. Um, uh, I guess they all kind of had the same kind of, craziness about them but when it came down to it uh each of them were kind of different in their own way and it kind of it kind of showed in like in a way of like a timeline also like it, it, if you remember uh, like far back how joker first appeared he wasn't smiling all the time he wasn't laughing you know you know he he was he was just like kind of a, a brooding guy that that wore face paint, right? Um, and I guess the folk the other two that were focused on was maybe like the the Neil Adams uh, a Joker from like the sixties seventies, right? His famous um, run where he was you know just a uh, full of gags and and joke right. related you know stuff. Right, and then you had more of a like a, a modern one, maybe not so like right now, but uh, uh, a more modern like o- almost like from from Killing Joke on, right? Um, as the three Jokers in this. Now, James, what is, uh, I know you've read comic books like we all have. I'm yeah. sure. What is what are your what is your take on the Joker? That they're mistake him for crazy because he's so hyper ultra aware so right. it just he's bored so right. he creates chaos right so and he's also one of batman he was the first batman villain uh-huh. that one of his big ones i mean outside of fighting vampires and stuff like that and gangsters um so when you read the book so when you open it up um you get um, they're like, so they open it up. They started off with Batman after a really rough night. Um, he had been stabbed with an umbrella by the penguin and then they show this is, oh, by the way, this is spoilers, folks. If you don't want to know what happens or, 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 the, or anything, don't watch this. That that's, that's your warning. Cause we're going to go geek and we're going to go into the storyline. So anyway, um, he, so he so in Alfred's tending to him and you see the various wounds from wars with the Joker, various things that he's done. There's a burn uh on his rib cage from the Riddler, um, to the stuff that Bane did uh by breaking his back. Um he's got more scars from the Joker. That's kind of where his his little thing ended. Then you go into Barbara Gordon and she's in a gym. And you can see the bullet wound under, like, by her belly button from the Killing Joke storyline that we're that's very famous, um, where she was shot. She was shot 
and she was basically paraplegic for a long time until she gained, regained the use of her legs. Um, then you then it goes to Jason Todd and he's fighting um, these the, the Joker goons, and you see the scar the basically the um, the 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 wounds from the crowbar as he was beaten to death by the Joker and a death in the family. So there are all three of them are wounded, and what I will. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that later. So they're all three of them have received wounds or death or almost dead by, you know, by the Joker or various other people. Uh, it goes from there into. So they they kind of stumble upon something where they where people are exposed to that that goop that that chemical stuff that that joker fell into um originally and in doing so they find one of the jokers and three of the and they're all three like listed as being like the criminal the comedian and what was the other one phil do you remember um the criminal, the comedian, and the um oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. It was like a profile word. It's kind of like a profile word. It wasn't the anarchist, was it? No, 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 no. It was like um like a pro- like a, a personality kind of a profile. It was like the joke the, the comedian, the criminal. I, I think Phil's looking it up now. So anyway, they find one of them. The clown, right? The clown, yes. So they find one of them in the in this mess of people, and he's ta- being taken by ambulance to Arkham. As he's in, so as Batman and Batgirl are in their respective vehicles, what you find out is the Red Hood is in Jason is in the ambulance, beating the hell like up like like beating the hell out of him. So Batman gets in the vehicle. He's like, what do you, you know, t- telling Jason to stop, referring to him as a hood. He, he doesn't. Um, the short of it is, is that they shoot, that Jason in the end shoots that one. Like thinking full, that. Full murder in the head. For more, like, just puts a bullet right in him. Because he, because it, as you find, as you read the book. A lot there's been there's a lot of trauma and a lot of um, PTSD kind of thing going on in different ways. So he kills one of them. Barbara catches him and kind of threatens to take him in and I, whatever else happened after that. And um, then, man, I just read it too. Um, yeah, that that all happens in the first book, which is. A little, right. a little weird, you right. know, because in the you get three books saying the three Jokers, but one of them is killed right away in the in the first book. But they're unaware that there's two more. They 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 don't they don't they're unaware that there's two more, and which one of them is the original Joker? They don't know. Uh, Phil, do you remember the second how the second book went? Uh, second book was uh, they're kind of trying to track down Jason. Um, because he, it, it's pretty much, he's feeling that he wants to kill them all, he, like kill every Joker there is. He's, he, he's raging out at, at, at Batman because he feels that Batman, uh, let him die and he's still protecting the Joker in, in a certain way. Um, uh, Barbara ends up uh, uh, finding him and putting him in, like a safe space, and that's when you kind of get like this uh, awkward moment. Well, okay, so Batman shows up at one point, and it's decided that Jason needs to go. That Jason needs to kind of hole up somewhere to to rest. So Barbara takes him to his takes Jason to her apartment and falls asleep. And then, meanwhile, Barbara gears up as Bat was a Batgirl, Batwoman, Batgirl. I don't know. Yeah, they're they're all right. 
And so and to go to go meet Batman comes back and he has gone through her personal effects and the calendars of when she was going through rehab and uh, psychiatry psychiatrist appointments and stuff like that with her dad and the books that she read as she was in there as she was healing because it was like the book that he picks out is one for chronic pain because again he was dead i haven't read hush so i don't know how he comes back um james have you read hush okay. no that's fine um so there's different ahead, ways of, of the story of jason coming back um, okay a lot of them are like uh, he was put into a Lazarus pit and brought back that way. Um, in in this story, it's pretty much he was still alive when they buried him. So I, I'm not sure they didn't really get too deep into yeah to that. But um, you know, they Batman always felt that that was one of his greatest fails. Was, right. Was and he him. mentions it too that he wished he would like there's he there it's said by him that he wished he didn't leave him in the grave. Um and when you when you read it, there's a lot of like so then this is where you start to see how Jason dealt with what happened to him and how Barbara dealt with what happened to her, and where where Jason turned to violence. Barbara's heart got bigger because of, you know, she can't walk, you know, she spent a lot of years in a wheelchair as Oracle, as we all know. Um, so um, they, if I remember correctly, they encounter another Joker. Actually, no, excuse me. The funny one is, is they're in an aquarium and they encounter uh, Gaggy, if you know who he is, James. Not offhand. I guess apparently there's a storyline where he, where the Joker had a uh, of court and he was the 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 minstrel. He's a real he's a midget, real short guy. Anyway, there's a physical altercation there. Um, the shark they had a huge there in this aquarium. They had a huge shark that got that stuff from the Joker. And this is where you find out that they're trying to create another one. So as this is going on, you, you they start talking about Joe Chill, and there's and there's reference to that fateful night after watching um, Zor the the mask of Zorro that his parents were killed by him, and he plays a part. He plays a role because there's a weapon that turns up with his fingerprints on it. So Batman goes to Blackgate to see if he's there, and he's not. And you find and he's got like stage four cancer. And there was video footage that had some un, you know, undisclosed per visitor come in and, and see him. So, and then what you find, so anyway, as this is going on, so this awkward moment that happens between Jason and Barbara, Jason always liked Barbara and always looked up to her, but had a crush on her. So as they're kind of opening up to each other, like he goes over and gives her a kiss and she's like, okay, this is just a moment. Like we're not doing this. Um, so Jason disappears again, right, Phil? Yeah. He uh, disappears again and shows up somewhere else. Um, there's uh, a, like an abandoned, like, yeah. uh, like YMCA type place. Right, right. Um, there, there, there's a Olympic sized pool in one of the, uh, areas of the building and you find a, all were, they were tracking down a whole lot of that Joker sludge, the, the, right. the chemical. Yeah. Cause there's a, um, a chemical truck that went missing. Uh, he, Jason figured that it, where, where the truck ended up and it was at this place and the whole pool is filled with, um, with this chemical and it's also filled with dozens and dozens of bodies so this was like a, a spot where uh the jokers were trying to they, they they've been i guess meticulously looking 
and planning and ki- and abducting people who would be potential candidates for another right. type of Joker to right. join their ranks, kind of making a Joker army. Right. Um, a, a lot of them seem dead because they're just floating face down in it. Um, and like like a, like a typical horror movie, one of them, you know, grabs their hand and grabs after Jason, you know, and he's, I mean, they're, he's like a practically a Joker zombie. And then all of them start uh, uh, kind of like waking up and going after Jason and Barbara and, and Bruce uh, uh, realize where they're at and they come there and then they're faced with all, you know, a mob of right. wannabe jokers. So Yeah, they it got out that they kind of figured out where he was uh, kind of in the middle of that too. You meet the other two jokers and the one there one of them who isn't mentally there. Uh it goes to the scene where he, he comes home and there's dinner waiting and he has a wife and the child won't come down and the wife is kind of afraid of him and the child is definitely afraid of him. And the other joker comes in, he's like, What are you doing? And then you see that he's talking to a mannequin and a teddy bear. He goes, Oh, I'm having dinner with the family, and the guy's like, There's nobody here. So yeah, you can kind of see like the the two jokers really don't I don't know if they really like each other or Yeah, it was kind of weird. Um but one of them, you know, one still is like tra- traumatized by the fact that he doesn't have a family anymore. And that's right. kind of the kind of the extension of the joker that was in the killing joke storyline. Right. Uh, yeah. yeah. James yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Do you want to ask anything or? Not offhand. Okay. So anyway, as they go into this building, uh, oh, as, as, excuse me, as Batman and Batgirl te- catch up with the hood, he is close to being beaten. He's, it, it gets revealed that he's going to be the, the reborn Joker. And he's beaten in a very similar fashion as he was in the Killing Joke with the crowbar. And he's kind of left there. His um, that 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 helmet that he wears has like a Joker-like smile on it, and he's naked. And so he's in really bad shape. Um, there's kind of like an altercation between him and Bruce because he's just like, well, at least I shot him. You didn't kind of a thing because he's just because Bruce never really kind of did. And like Jason feels that he should have he should have killed one of them or the one that they thought was sitting there. Um, and, and you know what I'm saying? So that the, again, it plays into that trauma and how it was dealt with. Um so they kind of anyway they kind of go from that so the joker now and also too like over the years joe chill has tried to mail stuff to bruce and it never went anywhere he finds these letters um he anyway what you find out is when you finally catch up with the only joker left because the other two have been killed or yeah what yeah because one was killed, another one was killed was that he's got Joe 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 Chill suspended in a chair, and then that's when things kind of kick off. Um, there's a if, Phil, if you want to fill in. Um, yeah. Um, so because it's known that Joe Chill had killed a uh, uh, the Wayne parents. Um, that's where Joker ends up going, uh, n- that alleyway and that movie theater where um, they were before. Um, so uh, the the two Jokers kind of like set up this trap for Batman, mm-hmm. and uh, because because Joe Chill had sent those those letters, uh, I guess he kind of. Uh, I'm not sure why the Jokers were choosing Joe Chill so much, but um, yeah, it kind of got confusing because he didn't really have any like other than the fact to get at Batman, but.
but then it was just kind of like I said it, that I I kind of understood it, but then it kind of didn't. Um. Anyways, um. Yeah. Uh. So the three heroes, uh, Red Hood, Batman, and and Batgirl, um, they decide to go over there anyways, and and try to save Joe and try to abduct uh both jokers uh batgirl ends up fighting the uh the comedian joker the one who who probably is the one who shot barbara to begin with right um and um i think that like there's like another small joker mob of guys coming in right and a flame or a fire breaks out, or no, no, the, they had another vat of chemicals, right? And they were gonna throw Joe Chill in there, right? Um, and uh, and there's also revealed by the Joker that's sta- left standing is that while they wanted to intended to put him to make him the next jo- Joker, well, I don't know how it was referred to, like he wasn't strong, like he wasn't strong enough, is what his findings were. Or he you know, like he wasn't strong enough, which plays out into a conversation that's had between Barbara and and Bruce. That he sh- Barbara points out to him that he that he could have made him stronger, meaning that you know to show him like the kind of be, like the apprentice that he was supposed to have been. Also, too, because of the these m- multiple jokers. Um, Jason brings up to Bruce about these many Robins after he had supposedly died. And he was kind of upset about that, too. Um, so anyway, uh, it goes down. Basically, they, ca- they capture la- the last Joker standing. Um, and he goes to Arkham. Uh, there was a discussion at one point in the book as to if 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 Bruce knew the name of Joker. He tells them, if I knew, you would know, meaning that he didn't know. Um, later on, and this is the thing that Philip and I, I think, really kind of really geeked over. He's talking to Alfred, and he tells him that he he's known the Joker's first name all along. And that, and they're in it, in the story, you go to Alaska, and you see this mother and son there, and it was... The the he the ex the former wife of who became the Joker and he doesn't he's not aware that he was ever married or had children, or or that in so much he doesn't know where they went. They went into hiding, and he goes that and he basically said this is why I remember his name because they because I have to basically like these people need to be protected and in order for them to be protected I have to know who he is. And there's this a quaint scene of this this mother and the son um, having dinner and some other stuff. Um, Joe Chill is on his dying bed, um, and Bruce shows up as Bruce, not Batman. And there's like this brief exchange. Am I missing anything, Phil? I think that's pretty Probably much it. Answer. Other than yeah. the Joker revealing that he right. did, he has known that right. Um, Bruce has been Batman or vice versa. Right. And that he's the um, why he exists kind of a thing. Yeah, the reason that he wanted to do that to Joe Chill right. was to pretty much get it out of the way. Like right. the only thing you should be concerned with Batman is me. You know, right. it's just gonna be you and me forever. And that's it. Right. Yeah. Um I I I I love the ending of the book. Right. Um, so one of the first Batman stories. Well, I mean, there's been a bunch of Batman stories that I've right. Read. One that kind of got me back into comics um, was the Killing Joke. And yeah, it's a great book. I, I feel like this story was. It felt like a, a a continuation of that story, and it brought back a lot of iconic moments of the Joker and Batman. Right. right. Um. It, into a more modern telling, so. Right. I, yeah, I enjoyed it. The artwork yeah. was really good too. I guess the one thing that I'm not like in this book didn't do like the other books have done as play as like the Joker is a severe psych- like psychotic as they've had in the past. Um, um they've had recently. 
Yeah, I they 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 definitely went away with um the way they uh the way Scott Snyder kind of right. uh, portrayed him like in the last ten years. Um, they they went kind of further back than right. than what they have lately, and they didn't right. portray him in any sort of way like they would in like any of the cartoons or right. any of the movies. Right. Um. No, this was pretty much a straight comic book right. uh, story. Right. It, that was, you know, right. directly rooted with, with, with the comics of the past. So Right. James, yeah. do you have any favorite Joker stories that you read or that you could re- recall? I've read some, but I can't recall of them. Right. And do you, I mean, do you remember the plot lines at all in them or? Not really. It's been okay. so many years. Right. Yeah. Um, the artwork was done, or it was written by Jeff Johns, um, artwork by uh, Jason Favick, and I think inks were done by Brad Anderson. Uh, really great artwork. Um, I like the visual presentation of, like, if you've, James, if you've ever seen the, 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 the front of, like, the um, Killing Joke graphic novel, there's, like, a, he's got a photo camera. Well, they mm-hmm. use that throughout the in the storytelling of like a video camera or a fo- or a photo camera uh, as a part of the storytelling, especially right. when it came to Barbara at one point, like he had a an old school photo camera hung around his neck um, as a part of like the storytelling, even the crowbar, because the crowbar outside of the Joker's use gets used by Jason. Um, quite a bit too. So then that was, and ironically, that was the weapon that you know, you know, it supposedly had killed him. Um, but anyway, yeah, the artwork's just really good. Um, I, I enjoyed it. It was a great story. It was a very different story. Um, even in, in them telling the origin story again, it didn't feel like it was a burden. It was like a part of the plot line that they kind of referred to to be a part of the active part in the story. Um, the 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 idea of the family being up in our in in Alaska was brilliant. You know what I'm saying? Because that's not, that was never canon. You never knew if he was married or had kids. And then in this, he's like, yeah, he did. De- he he does. He just doesn't know where they are or remember them. Phil, what do you think? What you got? Any final comments? Um. Yeah, I. Well, in in a way. Batman helped create the Joker. Um, from from you know chasing him and him being desperate enough to jump into the vat of chemicals, right? You know that 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 was the 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 push, uh, like like you would think, um, to kind of drive him to that madness, that lunacy. Right, because, right. Because, you know, he, he came out disfigured and... Right. And, um, but if you think about it, he was kind of thrown over the edge because he was told that his wife and their unborn son were killed in a fire. That's right. what he told him. That's in the storyline, too. James. And, well, the cops lied to lied to him Right. Because uh, this girl wanted to get away from her husband. Right. He was abusive. You know? It was is what I remember. So, so it's really the the cops. You know, had told. I, I'm not sure who 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 uh, she told that to. I don't know if it was the cops or what. But you know that them going into hiding and having Bruce being the one to hide them that that created the joker even more right there right um so yeah the other thing too that 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 i really appreciated about it is it addressed while it addresses um what trauma you know just does to somebody and how it's different for other people and how you still you can either still live with it or you can kind of move past it and become um a bigger thing um and you know by not ignore by not ignoring it and working through it and so many people like hang on to it 
and it doesn't do them any good as it's as they proved between Barbara and Jason, you know, with what what they both went through. Um, you know, Barbara kind of came out of it OK, and but Jason never did. And I guess for me, if you're going through something, you need to go talk to somebody. You, you need to work through that, whether it's with a professional or some really good friends. So anyway, um, that's uh, Three Jokers. That's a review. I have a hardback version of it. Beautiful artwork, great colors, great writing by Jeff Johns, who can, you know, my brain doesn't do any wrong. All right, with that, uh, that's our first uh, review of the, th uh, our first book review. Um, we did the Three Jokers. Um, if you like the book, go buy it at your local retail outlet. Again, we're not make, we're not sponsored by anybody, and we're not making any money on uh, on it. We're just wanting. We thought it was a really well done um, book. Um, we look to probably do some more in the future. Um, let us know how what you think of it in the comments uh, below. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe. Um, and for that, uh, we're gonna we're gonna sign off. I'm Jason. Hey, I'm Phil. I'm James. All right, y'all have a great have a great day, and we'll see you soon. Bye.